Hey everybody, Mazer here, and I have recently returned home from the Days of the Dead convention in Los Angeles. I got to meet several horror movie icons. There were lots of great people to talk to, a lot of good fans, and overall a good time was had by all. Now, you cannot go to a horror convention without picking up some horror movies, and I picked up three, count them, three horror independent films. Each one is going to get their own review, and hopefully these are going to be really entertaining horror movies. With independent films, I am going to keep in mind that the budgets are lower than a studio film, and hopefully I can give a very fair and unbiased review for these films. And the first one on the list is... You see, I keep calling this Tear Me to Pieces. I don't know why. But it's not Tear Me to Pieces. In fact, it is called Piece... Pieces of Talent. Forgive me, I don't have my tripod. It's currently in storage right now. I'm in the middle of moving. So, anywho, Pieces of Talent. Take a look at that box work. Oh, yeah. That's just sexy, isn't it? Oh, my God. Well... Let's just go down the list real fast here. A film by Christy Ray, Joe Stauffer, and David Long. Pieces of Talent was the back say. Well, the back says, Several little reviews. A modern horror masterpiece by Demons of Celluloid. A must-see by KillerReviews.com. Your new favorite horror film by HaddonfieldHorror.com. Ooh, that's a, that's a mighty lofty claim there, Haddonfield Horror. My new favorite horror film. I don't know. I put Texas Chainsaw Massacre pretty high up there. Anyway. We actually do not have a description here of the movie. All it says is this critically acclaimed by many of the best horror films. I'm sorry. Critically acclaimed by many as one of the best horror films of 2014. Pieces of Talent is a must see for any horror fan looking for a fresh take on the genre. And right under that, by HorrorSociety.com, we have a little review that says, David Long is a character that will join the ranks of the greatest horror icons of all time. That is a very bold statement. For as you know, we have not had a really good horror movie icon in recent years, except for Jigsaw, who is absolutely fantastic. And let's just go through the little list on the bottom here. Shutter, Blaine, Shutter Blade Media presents Pieces of Talent. Christy Ray, Barbara Wheatman, Taylor Kulowski, John Stafford, Stafford, Nate Panning, and David Long. Oh, okay. Da David Long is actually the actor's name, not the character name. Now, the only thing I know about this is something about a guy who wants to make a movie, a girl who gets involved with it, and crazy crap happens. Now, the way these little indie reviews will work is that I am going to turn off the camera, I am going to watch the movie, and I'm going to return with a short little review. And in the meantime, if I can find a trailer, I will edit a trailer in between me talking now and the review at the end of this video. So, without further ado, let's give pieces of talent. Look how grody that is. That's just gory. Oh, beautiful. All right, let's see how pieces of talent stacks up. I'll be right back. They always hang out with strange people and drive their cars around. I do. <laughs> Every time I get the chance. What do you do? I'll make movies. Take the camera. Okay. And you're gonna capture beautiful moments. We're gonna make this movie. All right, man. Yeah. Here. So what did you tell your mom about me? That you're making a movie and she just blew it off. She's gonna be out of your life soon, trust me.
I knew what I was doing. She wants to be an actress. Now, she is, of course, obviously struggling to be an actress, so she has a crappy job, or she doesn't like anybody, people around her are pretty much a bunch of jerks, you know, yada, yada, yada. It's the, uh, I call it the big douche syndrome, where everybody is a jerk for no real reason. And while at work, she ends up meeting, you know what, I'm not going to say anything. Let's just say that she catches the eye of a person who is not very stable mentally, and weird things happen. Now, our, our villain, our serial killer of the movie, is kind of interesting. When he's around good people, he's actually very charismatic, he's very gentle, very nice. But when he's around people who he doesn't like, he's kind of a, he's not the brooding, brooding psychopath. He's more of a very hyperactive, you know, very loud, I'm going to enjoy the living hell out of slaughtering you type of uh, character. So he's no Jigsaw or Hannibal Lecter or anything where he's very quiet. And he's still not a Michael Myers or a Jason where he's this, you know, slow stalker. He, I don't know how to describe him. Uh, they give you some insight to why he does some of this, but it basically boils down to he's freaking insane and obsessive. And, yeah, so, uh, we, we don't really get much of it. We get a, a hint of his motive, which is cool. So that's fun. Anyway, uh, when it comes to the technical aspects of the movie, the movie is shot beautifully, very high quality, great camera work, great angles, the action's always nice and far, so we don't have that you know, shaky cam action crap that I can't tolerate. Uh, it's very, you know, the camera's far enough away where you can see what's going on, but not too close, where you feel like you're, it's just, it, it just doesn't work. It has great music, good sound effects, what gore there is, is beautifully done. Lots. Uh, there was actually a very cool special effect that involved a shotgun at point blank range. That was really cool, fantastic use. But I guess the the overall feel the movie sucked me in. Don't get me wrong, it sucked me in as it was supposed to. It was very tense at at moments, and I really started getting into the villain because I kept thinking. Why is he doing this? What is his purpose? And then they show you a brief hint. I'm like, oh, okay, this this is starting to make sense. But I feel that he was almost a little too over the top when he started killing. Not acting wise, just very hyper. Laughing a lot, getting into some people's faces. Uh, overly cheerful. I don't know. It, it kind of distracted. But that's just my opinion. But... Overall, the movie was very well done. The only big issue I have, and this is this is my issue with a lot of films, you gotta nail the ending. You really gotta nail the ending. And the ending just happened. It just stopped. And, you know, it showed the directed by, and then we get the, the next little, little teaser of what happens in the... In, in the credits, and then we get uh, a to be continued. So, okay, cool. Now, 
I can I can accept an abrupt ending to a degree if it's going to continue to another. You know, we're going to get a sequel like this is chapter one, and the next one will be chapter two where we we'll get the real ending. I I can feel that maybe I, I got an idea where they might be going. I can't say it without spoiling. But um. Yeah, overall, it wasn't bad. It was very well shot, very well done. I just feel that the killer was a little over the top at some some points. Uh, they didn't explain his methods very well. I did like a lot of subtlety. They did use a lot of subtlety. Like there was a part where we find we see him in the background moving around, and it, they never focus on him. You just see him, like and it's a regular environment, like a restaurant or something. I'm not going to tell you specifically, but he's in a regular environment, and you just get a glimpse of him, and I'm like, oh, that was cool, if I wasn't paying attention, I would have missed that, that's pretty cool, overall, I give this a solid 7, yeah, seven, seven's fair, um, and it might be one of those things where, if you watch it with a group of people, you might be able to enjoy it a little more, you know, give a little commentary, or see a react. I don't know, sometimes some movies are better with a group of people, but yes, um, pieces, pieces of talent, you know, uh, easily one of the better cinematically presented independent films I've seen. I do wish they gave a little, a little more explanation with the villain. And I'm not a fan of just mindless psychopaths. And again, they do give you a strong hint into why he does what he does. And at the ending, sort of explains why it does. It's kind of a stretch. But I kind of I want to get more into his mind, especially as you can see the scene on the on the cover. Okay, I want I, I want to know more about his 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 method to his madness. Okay, but hopefully it's one of those movies where it gets better in the sequel. I mean, it explains more, kind of like Insidious. Insidious one, you know, it was, it was good, it was a good seven. Insidious 2, oh, much better storyline. The story just goes, you know, really propels the film. So, but yeah, that's Pieces of Talent. Again, it's a film by Christy Ray, Joe Stoffer, and David Long. I just realized they used their real names in the movie. That is so cool. Huh. That is really cool. Oh! And David Long wrote it. Oh, wow, David, good job. Again, just just want a little more of the villain. I like knowing more about my villains. But if this is a, a multiple series, kind of like Saw. We don't know anything about Jigsaw in the first film. We get an idea who he is. And, but we don't know why. We don't know, we don't know anything why he does it. And then we get the next movies, and then you appreciate the previous ones more and more, because now you get a better insight. Maybe that, that, that might be it. So yeah, uh, a piece of talent, great cinematography, great camera work, great uh, acting. Yeah, the acting was very well done. The special effects, the core, all fantastic. It was just bits of the storyline that uh, distracted or brought down. Just a bit. Just a bit. It's not a bad movie. Nowhere near. Not even mediocre. I wouldn't even call it mediocre. It's good. Just not great. Not yet. So, um, pieces of talent. I will link their Facebook and their Twitter and all that in the description. Please check them out, and if you ever have a chance, give this movie a rental, if you can find a rental. Or, you know, I, I got this for like $12 at the, the convention. Give it a shot. I think you'll really enjoy it. So, there you go. There's my little micro-review of this independent film, Pieces of Talent, again, by Shutterblade Media. Check it out. I don't think you'll be disappointed. Alright? Thank you.